Episode 012. Are dragons dinosaurs? Or dinosaurs dragons? Who the fuck knows? Now, the theory of dragons being dinosaurs draws a connection between their similarities. It's believed that the early findings of dinosaur fossils inspired the ancient cultures to create this mythological or fabled creature we know today as dragons. But what about the stories and eyewitness accounts engaging in battles with these beasts that terrorized the population? And what about the ancient paintings and carvings of dinosaurs? Either dragons truly did exist or dinosaurs survived the mass extinction, extinction event and lived much closer to humans than previously thought. And dinosaurs back then were given the name dragons as dinosaurs is relatively a new word. What do you think about that? Uh, when was that word come out? Do you know that? When was that? D dinosaur? Dinosaur, yeah. Uh, I think it was some somewhere in the 1800s by a goofball. <laughs> some fucking virgin. <laughs> uh, yeah, dinosaurs. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, by the way. I just have a sense of humor. Yeah. Man, I thought I had that little stat somewhere yeah. around, but I don't. But it's relatively a new word. Maybe 1800s. Yeah, maybe 1800s was when dinosaur, the word was was made um the first dinosaur fossils. 1841 1841 richard owen yeah coined the word dinosaur originally dinosauria in 1841 and it originates from two G greek words dinos and terrible terrifying Power lizards powerful wanderers and sorcerers or sorrows lizard before 1941 we think people just called them dragons Let's fucking Let's go. go. Uh, a quick mention. Dinosaur, the first dinosaur fossils were actually published in 1677 in Europe by an Englishman, Robert Plot. Now, that's a quick mention because a bunch of these goofballs think that dinosaurs <laughs> are a conspiracy towards that the America's created. Well, guess what? They're found all over the fucking world. Same like UFOs. Fucking dooebs. It's not our fault that America's the greatest country in the world. <laughs> And the greatest whoa, whoa, country whoa, that has whoa, ever existed whoa, whoa. of all time. Stop, you extremist. <laughs> <laughs> Just because that's what you... Anyway. Now, I know how much you love your fucking timelines. I just like timelines because it's like, so, I, I want to be able to one day come back to the podcast and just be like, oh, okay, let me listen to this podcast and put it... Maybe I want to make a fucking big timeline one day and just fucking put it, yeah. put it on a wall. And then maybe I can even put our fucking podcast in the timeline. Let's go. Um, so I'm going to give you the timeline of dinosaurs and a geological timeline together. So the Mesozoic timeline, which is where the dinosaurs thrived, it's broken into three parts. The Triassic period, which was 252 to 201 million years ago. Now, the continents during this period were all part of a single landmass called Pangea. Pangea. Yes, sir. Climate during this time was hot and dry. Much of the land was covered in deserts and there was no polar ice caps. At the end of the Triassic period, a series of, earth of earthquakes and volcano eruptions caused Pangea to split into two. This event was also the birth of the North Atlantic Ocean and was also the first max the first mass extinction for the dinosaurs as well now after these events were done we have the birth of the jurassic period 201 through 145 million years ago the mass extinction that occurred in the triassic period gave birth to the jurassic world now the two land masses were called laurasia or Laurasia in the north and Gondwanda in the south. Dinosaurs survived and the new landscape gave a path for evolution to work its magic. The Stegosaurus existed in this era and so did the large sauropods. Now, sauropods are the ones with the long necks. Okay. And argue, I think the, the most massive land creatures that have ever existed, if I'm not mistaken. 
and by the end of this period, the land masses were still drifting apart. A quick and interesting little uh, little stat here. You know, do you know what the what the Stegosaurus is? Is it the one with the pointy back? Yeah, those. I'll show pictures. I here. fucking really don't know nothing much about like dinosaurs, but I for some reason, when you say some like if you were to mention it, I'd be like, oh, I think is it in that one? I don't know. I just yeah. for some reason I haven't. I don't. I've never reminded or remember this shit. Yeah, I'll pop a I'll pop a picture up here. But what? Actually, real quick note. I never knew how interested I was in dinosaurs and the Mesozoic timeline and this Is different that Mesozoic, world. Mesozoic, Mesozoic. Yeah, Mesozoic timeline. That's where um, that's where all these events yeah, occurred. Yeah, yeah. Never knew how intrigued I was in all of this and the geology of the world. It's literally a completely different fucking earth. Uh, yeah, it's a completely different, different, different world. Yeah, like I said, there's no fucking polar ice caps, and. It just goes to show also how... But global warming, though. <laughs> it goes to show... <laughs> it goes to show how lucky we are to live in a perfect environment that we live in today. Not too cold, not too hot. We literally live in a perfect uh, environment today. But, dude, I need to... S I'm going to go fucking protest right now. What do you mean? It's, it's fucking hot. You live in the They're melting. You live in the greatest country in the world. Go ahead. Go protest, mate. Go uh go fulfill your amendments. <laughs> and uh, oh, so the the quick stat. Did you know now and this is very fun because we watch all the fucking Jurassic Park movies and all this shit and they always show all these dinosaurs together. Mm. The Stegosaurus so the T-Rex is closer to us than the T-Rex is clo is to the Stegosaurus. Holy fuck. That's how massive of a time gap all these fucking dinosaurs are. Oh, shit, they're not all together? No. Mm. No. The T-Rex occurred in the Cre in the Cretaceous period, which we'll find, we'll, which I'm literally going to get to that here. But the T-Rex is literally closer to humans than the Stegosaurus is to the T-Rex. Would you still haven't put up a, a picture of the Stegosaurus? It's because I, I have to hold up. Stegosaurus. Is this fucking dweeb right here? Fucking dweeb is bigger than like our house by five. No, not this one. Oh, not this one? No. And hold up. Sorry, guys. But yeah, that when I first seen that, I was like, what? Why you gotta fucking ruin the Jurassic Park movies now? This fucking dweeb right here. Oh, not this one. Okay. Yeah. So this guy is. Hello. Yeah, this guy's. Is, is the T Rex is closer to us than this guy is to the T Rex. Mm. But back to our timeline, and then we have the Cretaceous period, one hundred and forty-five to one sixty-six million years ago. Now, during the mid Cretaceous period, the land masses split into more separate continents. The world at this time was known as Panotia. This gave way for a, merse, for a more diverse evolution of dinosaurs, and this was also probably the second mass extinction of the dinosaurs. However, this era gave birth to the largest sauropods, sauropods known as titanosaurs, titanosaurs. Now, those were the biggest sauropods though, with the long necks, the biggest ones ever were yeah. in this Cretaceous period. And the T-Rex was also alive during this period. The T-Rex, of all my knowledge, which is a little bit of the ancient worlds, I think the T-Rex is the scariest... Most predator motherfucker. Most predator motherfucker. The strongest fucking guy out there in all the history of our world that we know of. It's funny because it has the smallest fucking hands. <laughs> yeah, but actually their hands did have a use. I think the motherfucker could lift up a bus with its fucking hands. I they could even reach it. <laughs> yeah. Now, sometime around 65 million years ago, an asteroid hit the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula and caused the third mass extinction. Are we sure it was there? Pretty positive. Yeah. Pretty positive. That's the established 
that's the established um, version of how the dinosaurs were extinct. Now, of course, you know, other things probably went on simultaneously. When it hit, it probably caused massive earthquakes around the world. It caused a nuclear winter um, and then volcanoes. It probably caused volcanoes to, to erupt. But yes, that is. So 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs were extinct. And why we're even talking about this is are dragons dinosaurs or vice versa is because it hints at the possibility of dinosaurs either living closer to us, which is bizarre given that they were extinct 65 million years ago, or some dinosaurs survived the mass extinction that we never knew and were alive very recently, even 800 years ago. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, sir. So I'm actually not entirely sure when this theory was thought of. It's somewhere in the early 2000s. I did see something. Let me bring this guy back here. I did see something, I, and I'm not sure if this theory comes dates back to this but somewhere in the 2008 the stanford human uh, humanity center it was a children's hospital or a children's oh, sorry a children's museum they wanted to see if they could unearth the similarities between dinosaurs and dragons or to maybe draw a connection and i think this gave rise or the birth to this theory of our dragons dinosaurs but i'm not entirely sure but i do what i do want to do though is draw a connection and this is just a visual connection nothing to you know just you just look at if you're if you're in ancient culture and you dig up some bones that look like dinosaurs i'd be like that fucking out it looks they look identical as as dragons and the first connection that I want to draw is this fucking guy right here. This guy, this guy is called the Draco Rex, and his name means the Dragon King. Uh, yeah, the Dragon King. This little guy right here, that looks like a dragon. Yeah. Now, if you're to dig without this wings, up, without yeah, wings. yeah, if you're to dig this motherfucker up, and that's the that's the other thing too. The the thing about drawing a connection between dragons and dinosaurs is that there's so much connections to be drawn. Not only because, because there's plenty of creatures that give or look inspiration to the give, you know, for the term dragons, but dragons are also described in various different ways. And again, it was what did you say that the description of dinosaurs was like terrifying lizards? Yep. yep. Dragons are basically terrifying lizards, and not all dragons have wings. In fact, again, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of the of like the Asian depictions are just like long serpent lizard th dragon looking things without wings is the thing. Now, if you fucking put some wings on this motherfucker, it looks like something from Game of Thrones. So this is the first one right here. And then you have the this fucking thing right here. This was, you know how massive the wingspan of this fucking thing was? Hmm. Sometimes up to 40 feet long. There's some estimates that its wingspan was 65 feet long. I don't know about that, but that is massive, dude. Imagine if those things were fucking flying around while you're like in New York City or something. I hell no, I wouldn't even be out there. <laughs> I'd just come and swoop you. Yeah, look at this fucking thing. This is taller than a giraffe. Holy fuck. Yeah, so, and for some reason, humans would try to fucking. Uh, what's it called? Uh, domesticated? <laughs> yeah, domesticated. Imagine some fucking guy just riding this fucking thing. Not, humans are fucking crazy. We'd do that. I might. hundred percent. Now, like, now that fucking Draco Rex, that dragon king dinosaur is herbivore. This guy, I don't know what the fuck this guy was. But I just want to draw connections. Like I said, I just want to draw connections that... Uh, this motherfucker is called Quetzalcoatlus, and it lived in the late Cretaceous period and was also found in the U.S., actually. This guy was. Because the U.S. made dinosaurs up. 
Seems to. But. But again, like I said, I just want to draw connections to see like. It's it's pretty evident. It's pretty evident that that dragons got the inspiration from, I don't know, dinosaur fossils or ancient extinct things, which leads us to historical and scientific evidence of dinosaurs possibly surviving the mass extinction. But I've also noticed that that a lot of the science that goes behind this comes from like religious scholars wanting to attach, you know, Genesis to reality and stuff like that. And it kind of irritates me because again, but why, why, why do you think that? Because I guess, and I'm telling you most of the fucking research that I was looking at is comes from uh, biblical, you know, religious scholars wanting to attach the Bible to history because you know, if, you know, a lot of the questions that come up are, oh, did God create dinosaurs or why mm. didn't God create dinosaurs and stuff like this? And actually a lot of descriptions in the Bible are like, oh shit, that kind of sounds like a dinosaur type of shit. And I don't know, I think, I like I said, I think that's kind of silly because the Bible isn't a fucking science book. Yeah, yeah. And it's silly that this, but all of, I'm telling you, a lot of the research that was put into these dinosaurs being closer to humans and humans coexisting with dinosaurs or came from religious, um, from reli religious science Scholars. believers, whatever. Isn't there, uh, what can you say about, now that we're speaking about that, what can we say about those? I've seen, I don't know if they're real or not, about those pictograms. I think I've seen some, those pictograms. Is that how you say it? Or hieroglyphs? Oh. Hieroglyphs of, uh, of like humans you with. You mean that? Hieroglyphs of dinosaurs? Yeah, if that, I mean, is it that one? What is that? What is it? Yeah, that could be. Or cave drawings of cave dinosaurs? Draw yeah. Yeah. You going to debunk those? <laughs> that fucking or, looks, uh, like, that looks like my, f what, did I not get it? It looks something, I, that looks too good. <laughs> you know, that one right there looks like this too one? good. Yeah. I was like something I draw when I was in kindergarten. No, it's actually um, it's it's outlined. No, no it does look mm. like that. I just I just chose one that was outlined because it's easier oh, to see. Oh, okay. The other one, it's it's pretty hard to see. Now there's another thing of like, I'm not of footsteps being next to dinosaur footsteps, and these were actually called the the Paluxy River footsteps because there's footsteps in dinosaur footsteps and shit like that oh like this and it's you can make a nice you can make a a fun little speculation speculation but for the most part i think it's rubbish it's probably like like they they claim this like oh look there's a big toe and it's in and right here you can kind of see it and it's in the dinosaur footstep but that just it's looks only, like yeah. a dinosaur foot of me. Yeah. Huh. This one up there kind of looks more... Kind of looks more like a fucking human foot. Yeah. But it's... This is the other thing that because this... A lot of this research comes from people that are religious and stuff like that. They, they stretch this shit out. A lot. Like these poxley steps right here. But you're talking about this one right here. Where's it at? 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 This one right here in Cambodia, right? No. No, but uh, still, I want that photo. No, I'm talking about one that seems to be like it's in a cave and there's like a person next to a dinosaur. Are you sure it wasn't that one right there? Is it? No. Because in this one, there's... This same one, there's a person up here. Oh, then it might be then. It yeah, and, be then. and this was okay. in a cave. Okay. And it's it's, it's, yeah. it's not the only one either. There's... Here's another fucking one right here. 
Here's another one. Now, this one can be described as a bull, but it has spikes. This one can be described as a dragon, even. But the one that you're looking at, you might want to look it up and we'll, we'll put it up. Um, so now with all this stuff, do you think people are just putting two and two together? Um, you know, so like not, I said, not, I'm not saying that, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a different type of creature, but now that we know how they look like, we are saying, oh, these were it or no, or I, in my point of view, I mean, that looks like a sauropod right there. It's like, how the fuck, what other creature looks like yeah, that? Yeah. I don't now, know. Now, fucking lizard or something now i am telling you like it's a small lizard like tying these things together it's mainly historical evidence because scientific evidence there's nothing there's nothing that would include dinosaurs and humans living side by side so i think that is complete rubbish that dinosaurs and humans live side by side the only piece of evidence that i could find in this now, keep in mind, this is very superficial stuff. We're not scientists. We're not fucking paleontologists. We're fucking nothing. But the only thing that I could possibly tie to this was soft tissue and dinosaur fossils, which if you know how fossilization works, the minerals from the ground fossilize something and it turns into rock, basically. Something along the lines of that. Now, I'm not... I'm, like I said, I'm not a scientist, but, oh shit, sorry. Now, I'm not a scientist, but there's this, um, here, let me put, let me pull it up right here. But there is a, a website here hold on, okay, so this is thing, the Creation Ministry International, they, again, it's, it's a website that ties create whether it's either creation or evolution and again it's from religious origins but it tries to tie these two things together right here this soft dinosaur tissue and fossils mm -hmm. which it shouldn't it shouldn't be it shouldn't happen because it's fossilized but it's so apparently there's blood and DNA intact and the ligaments are even stretchy still, which is kind of a fucking conundrum in this thing. And it's the only piece of evidence that could be like, what the fuck? Hmm. And it's not, ex it's, it really is not explainable. The explanation that they give is like something, some enzymes occurred or bacteria occurred that it looks like this or something like that. And it's not that, but it's, I don't want to explain it because I'm not a scientist. But go to creation.com and I don't know, maybe we'll put the link in the, we'll put the link in the description so you guys can look at it for yourselves and read it for yourselves. Like I said, I'm not a scientist and I don't want to do, and I don't want to go into it, but it's crazy. And that, but that's it. Other than that, it's all historical evidence. Like the, by the way, it was, it was that picture. It was oh, this that, one right here? I just, yeah. did that outline one fucked me. Uh, now something that's pretty fucking uh pretty fucking crazy are something that's called the Ica stones from Peru. Hold up! Oh, I have them here. Now these stones from Peru were carved like this. What, what, what does that look like that's in there? <laughs> oh, that's for sure. Dude, you have T-Rexes. You have a lot of huh. dinosaurs in there, dude. Here's more. This one can that's be... the same one. Yeah, you can... Uh... Oh, sorry, wrong one. Looks like Here's more. There's like... 10,000 of these stones, dude, that were found. And how old are those? Well, hold up. Let me tell you a little story about them. Okay. So the story goes, so the Ica stones from Peru, and this would be a piece of historical evidence, possibly. 
And the story goes, in, 19, in the 1930s, Dr. Cabrera started collecting strange stones that an ancient culture had carved. There are over 10,000 of these stones. They were found near the city of Ica, Peru, hence the name, by a farmer. And the depictions on these stones were various extinct creatures that once roamed the earth, as well as maps showing locations and precious metals. The creatures were dinosaurs. This could be a piece of evidence showing humans and dinosaurs coexisting. The current academic position on these stones are that they were a elaborate prank. Now, there is a time gap of 65 million years ago between these dinosaurs. And science scientists believe that these stones were just a hoax. The only question about these stones is how this farmer could have made 10,000 stones over 10,000 stones in a relatively short time gap of when these stones were discovered and I'm not sure when and I'm not sure about the the time that or the what these stones were dated to but these events were going on in the 1930s So that's, that could be one piece of historical evidence. Again, that one with the stegosaurus, with the, the one with the stegosaurus, that one was from a temple in Cambodia, 800-year-old temple from Cambodia, this one right here. And what's the explanation of that? Well, there is no explanation. This, this, is, this is the thing that the humans and dinosaurs coinciding there's no explanation it shouldn't happen but we have a depiction that looks like a that oh, looks like a stegosaurus for, right dude there. that that's probably the clearest one yeah and that's kind of what we're asking ourselves is could there be a possibility of humans and dinosaurs coexisting mm -hmm. and unfortunately all we have is historical evidence paintings carvings uh stones those stones are most likely a hoax though but again, you still have the question of how did this farmer make 10,000 of these stones? And you can, there's, there's a Dr. Cabrera in his home or something like that. There, it's now a museum that you can go and look at them for yourself. The, interest, the interesting thing about those stones is that they're covered by a pigment that only occurs over time. Mm. And the carving itself it's also not. has that pigment. So they, they, it could very, very well be a possibility of those stones being authentic or some of those stones being authentic is the thing about those stones. Uh, it's interesting. Hmm. Now, there's also the legend of St. George and the dragon. Now, this is your regular story that almost all civilizations across the globe have of a warrior fighting a dragon and it's and not shrek but <laughs> but it's and you know there's a princess involved now the legend of saint george and the dragon well saint george was a christian knight when he rode into town in into a town in modern day libya the inhabitants seeing that george was a knight asked him to liberate them from a bloodthirsty dragon. He agreed on one condition. His price was their conversion and baptism to Christianity. They agreed, so St. George went in. So St. George went to seek the dragon, and when it emerged from the river, he, they engaged into battle. When St. George got the best of the dragon and cut his head off, he rode into town where the people looking at the dragon were mortified out of the sight of it. And the rest is history. They ended up building a church and conver and converting into Christianity. Now, the art, there's art of this all over the place that dates back to the 1400s. And the oldest known text comes from the 11th century from the Georgians. Let me show you one of the most famous arts revolving this. This is St. George fucking up that dragon. Does that look like a dragon to you? It looks like a dinosaur mate. Now, remember in the story where the dinosaur, where the dragon emerges from the river? Yeah. Well, there is a dinosaur that is water-based, kind of like a crocodile, but can go on land. I know. Yeah. This fucking thing right there. Yeah. 
And this story is very popular. Like, there's literally so much paintings and drawings of St. George fucking up this dragon. Could it have been a crocodile? I mean, that doesn't look like it at it all. It doesn't look like a crocodile at all. It 100% and looks all, like a dragon or dinosaur. Yeah, all depictions. And the the funny thing about it is that the more modern these paintings get, oh, now it starts to have wings. And then it fucking starts breathing fire. And then, and then the same thing goes with the same stories that they lose credibility because of people adding this or yes. do, doing that, kind of like the Hollow Earth or, you know, or yeah. stuff like that. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I'm a, you know what? Fuck dinosaurs. I'm not going to start calling them dinosaurs. I'm calling them dragons. That's what I'm going to do. Dinosaur is just a relatively yeah. new fucking term. Fuck it. They're dra- it's a dragon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a fucking dragon. Why the fuck would I use it? You know? Yeah. And again, like I said, hieroglyphs. Egyptian hieroglyphs yeah. of depicting uh, these sea that that one like a sea fucking thing. See, that hieroglyph and this sea, kind of like the Loch Ness monster. Yep. Well, that's so, a good one, the Loch Ness monster. Let's draw this to a con- conclusion, my friend. And again, we're not scientists, so it's not like... And this is very superficial stuff. I've noticed that there's a fucking rabbit hole revolving dinosaurs. You know there's some people that don't believe in dinosaurs? That they never existed? That it was just made up? Yeah, 100%. Uh, Remember I told... I was the one that told you that um, there was some conspiracy going on that... Along the lines of... I don't have this right, but uh, along the lines of... The first dinosaur skeletons were found in the U.S. in like not too long ago, 1970 something or like something like that. I can't even remember because it was that stupid. And uh, it was in the 1870s, something like that. And then just just saying, you know, just it's kind of non factual stuff where you could just literally do a five minute research or something like yeah. that. Oh, and and actually. I actually now see that note that I had Sir Richard Owens cr- invented that word dinosaur. Mm-hmm. But it, the first dinosaur rush was in the late 1870s. And it was on who could find the most and best dinosaurs between a Philadelphia paleontologist, Edward Drinker Cope, and Othniel Marsh, a paleontologist from Yale University. Now, these two started as friends, but ended up becoming bitter rivals. And their stories have been over exaggerated, but they include like, like their parties, like their their groups of on being armed spies, intercepting shipments. These guys were a bunch of dickheads to each other, driven by personal glory. But these two paleontologists gave us a glance at a forgotten world of the Jurassic's, and that was the first dinosaur rush on finding fossils in the 1800s. This one was, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere out of Utah or something like that. Maybe Texas or Colorado. I don't know. But this first dinosaur rush was in the U.S. And there was actually a second dinosaur rush that took place around the 1900s. And it took place in southern Canada this time. The rival- this time, the rivalry was between Barnum Brown of the American Museum of Natural History and C.H. Sternberg of the Geological Survey of Canada. But this competition was more of a friendly one. And this di- second dinosaur rush gave us an inside look at the Cretaceous period. According mm. to the University of California Museum of Paleontology is where I got this information. But in going with your conspiracy theory that you were just talking about of the Americas creating them because of a rivalry yeah. feud, yep. which... A lot of the fossils found in museums, you know, there's they're not all if they're yeah. not all real. Yeah. Yep. 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 They're just pieces put mm-hmm. together and stuff like that. But back to our conclusion, what do you think? You think? Well, actually, you know what? Sorry, the this hieroglyph. You know what that hieroglyph means? What? Uh, a a, a little a, insect? No, a skinned chicken, a defeathered chicken. <laughs> ready to serve so if you ever see the you know people oh shit uh, egyptians knew about dinosaurs this and that they're most likely always going to have that picture right there but here's offerings 
of that same thing of a chick or a duck or whatever being Probably a duck defeathered. Actually, I don't know. Defeathered for offerings. Mm. So I did debunk that one. Look, here it is again. This one, this time it looks more like that. Oh, look. These were also the two dickheads. These are the two dickheads that that robbed their fucking dinosaur fossils and shit like that. And then look at this guy. This is uh, the guy that invented the term dinosaurs. Hmm. This was this guy, Sir Richard Owens. What was it? Fuck him, it's dragons. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's dragons. Yeah, but what what do you think about this thing? Uh I don't know. It's one of those things that doesn't really have enough evidence in a way. Mm-hmm. And it's very hard. It's kinda I don't know. Plus I kind of honestly could it's one of those things that you kind of don't, I mean, I, I'm a historic fan, but I can honestly, I never really cared that much for dinosaurs. Mm. You know, I was just like, ah, whatever. So, but, but like I said, they're dragons. Yeah. And that that's the thing. Pretty is, much. Is there is there any stories that you've maybe searched up stories or books about St. George and his battle with that dragon? Yeah, it's a popular story. That that the, what I told you is basically the story, and it's literally pop. It was it got traction because of the uh, it was during the Crusades, and uh, you know the Crusades, and it traveled across all of. It. So some people think that the story is popular, and they just spinned off to their own cultures yeah. because it grabbed traction during the Crusades, and all these cultures, but. All cultures pretty much have stories of dragons. The Aztecs with Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. Um, I think the ancient cultures, the ancient Chinese cultures have probably the first records of dinosaur fossils, probably dating back. Then these, they're just stories, but they date back probably, I don't know, four, 6,000 years ago. Probably closer around 4,000 years ago is the stories that they have about these finding fossils but 75 percent of all types of life died during the asteroid impact and humans have made extinct around 700 species of animals and at least endangered a thousand more according to the guardian and according to the guardian uh, you know, the Guardian. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> they say that humanity has wiped out 60% of animal population since the 1970s. And surrounding this, there's a bunch of different stats. Yep, and, yep. and some are more, some are less. But according to the PBS, all of the species that have ever existed on the Earth... 99.9% are now extinct and most of them because of cataclysmic events 99% 99.9% of all life that has ever existed on the face of this earth is now extinct Point one is what we have to work with now so what I think about this story is that I think there's way too much historical evidence that points to the possibility of some types of dinosaurs that survived or that evolved through the fucking 65 million years that we eventually killed off. I mean, like I said, I believe in, I believe that all ancient stories have some truth behind them. In particular, the story with St. George fucking up that dragon. That's, uh, you know, one of the, those, well, it's one of those um, dinosaurs that, evolved through time it's just like now technically sharks technically crocodiles um i think all birds are dinosaurs but not all dinosaurs are birds come from chickens come from you know dinosaurs or st some something like that i think i seen something like that so i think that's what we're looking at here we have Evo kind of more of evolution yeah that, anything. yeah that some species survived 
You just look like the Komodo dragon. Imagine that fucker was bigger. Yeah. At one point, I'm sure it was bigger. Like, that fucking thing would be fucking frightening. Bro, if it was the I size of a it. fucking horse. I've, I've seen that motherfucker eat a goat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I feel like... Um, what do you think about... Is this having... I mean, it probably doesn't, but is this... Do you think... This might be off topic, but... Do you think that all life emerged from the ocean from water um yeah have you heard of that yeah what is it a theory yeah that theory i think i don't know if it's a i think i don't know if it's a theory or not. i think that's just evolution oh that we come from a fucking sloppy looking ass fucking fish and eventually it gave birth yeah i i, if, I think Something all like i think all life does come from the ocean or water but but like I said, if I think we're seeing of um of an interaction between, you know, our ancient relatives coming into contact with ancient monstrous looking creatures that were given the name dragons and they fucked them all up as humanity does with almost anything. With almost anything. Yeah, I I don't know, I think uh, I think they did exist in some sort of way. Maybe a lot of it was spinoff, and that's where, you know, people stop believing in that shit. But in some sort of way, I think I do. I think I do believe it. Oh, uh, yeah. That way, what? That humans and, drag and dinosaurs coexisted, or that dinosaurs survived, uh, some shape of the previous dinosaurs survived and. We came into contact with our current timeline. Kind of both. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean. Because all, keep in mind that. Because. The, I don't know. Humans or hominids. Yeah, it's only. I think. Again. Anatomically looking human beings. Like me and you. They back to. You know. Around. Two million years. Hominid species. What? Six million years. Like so we have like a time gap of 50 million yeah. years between hominid species and dinosaurs. I don't think I don't think humans and dinosaurs coexisted in regards to your regular Mesozoic oh. time frames. I think that's a bunch of rubbish and I think it's dumb when people look at the Bible as a scientific book because that's where this thing comes from trying to you know, that trying to fit these two things together. I, like I said, I think information that information is taken out of a timeline and they fit the narrative to our current time system. But I do think that I'm sure some some shape or form of of creatures, like I said, we have 35% that survived that cataclysmic event. And we probably have closer to 15 because after, you know, the nuclear uh, winter settled and all this stuff, we probably have around 15% that truly kind of... Or even less. Yeah, that, that kind of just made it out of that fucking storm. Like crocodiles, like sharks and all this stuff. I think that's what we're looking at here. Yeah. And these monstrous, what would be monstrous at the time, you know, something that... Just imagine we're in the fucking middle of the ocean. We see some fucking crazy looking thing. We're discovering animals in the ocean every day. So I think that's what we're looking at here. Yeah, I think so. Uh, oh, fuck, I was going to say something. I don't know. I think the possibility of something always, something happening is, as we know how big the universe is and the possibilities that can exist, I feel like maybe there might be some small, small, small chance, you know? Yeah. As time goes on and go, you know, and moves yeah. along. So it's one of those things. I mean, like right now, we don't even fucking know what UFOs are, this and that, in fucking 300 years. Oh, these, uh, we call them UFOs, and now they actually have a name, and they are, are already established, and all yeah. this. So it's going to be one of those things, too. Yeah. Did they interact, you know, was there, you know, this was happening in 1940, and blah, blah, blah. So it, it's one of those things. Mm -hmm. And also keep in mind that we're discovering new things every, every day. And shit gets older. Yep, shit gets older. 
But regarding humans and Mesozoic dinosaurs existing, I think that's a bunch of rubbish. But like I said, I just this is a nice, quick, fun one. Uh, I kind of I didn't dig too deep into this because I was losing brain cells as I was <laughs> as I was going down this rabbit hole, uh-huh. and I was like, "Fuck that, fuck that!" I don't want to lose that much brain cells, so it's really superficial. I don't know. Maybe I'll find something later that would yeah, that will delve back into a little bit back into this. But I thought it was a nice little fun one. Nice little cool. fun for yeah, you. It's good to know. Like I said, sometimes. People just know about dinosaurs and they don't really know yeah. about dinosaurs. Kind of like me. Because mm-hmm. I just don't really like, I don't care about dinosaurs, so I don't dig into it. But it's good to learn like the different work that this came from. Especially, I didn't even know that fucking that word was only like 200 years old. The you know, what? The dinosaur war- word. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. So it's like, you know. Yeah. Remember, I've always asked you, I'm like, I always ask you sometimes, I'm, all, I'm like, do you believe in dragons? And, you know. And then we kind of just spin off fucking mm-hmm. dialogue and then, but it's good to know. Yep. Other than that, that's it for episode 012, Are Dragons Dinosaurs? If you guys think that my opinion is a little off and maybe you guys know a little bit more, leave it down in the comments. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I, I, like I said, if you guys have a piece of evidence that that I missed on, like I looked at this very superficially. Just to, I I thought it was very fun to think about though that there's a possibility of Mesozoic timeline dinosaurs surviving. So just leave it down in the comments. I would like to look into it. I'm always looking to change my opinion and my views. And, and if you uh, guys have pieces of information that will get me a little bit more knowledgeable, we would like to see it in the comments. Yeah, uh, don't be afraid to leave shit, bash us, talk yeah. shit about us, fucking. Uh, <laughs> trash us be like hey look at this you know we like that because like i said we like to keep a open mind and then uh open up the knowledge about maybe something we're we're missing yeah we 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 actually like that and enjoy it so don't ever be afraid to trash us yeah and likewise (laughs) we're not pussies yeah and likewise if you guys have any um any pro any uh suggestions on what we should talk about we would also like to hear it because we have a pretty, you know, we have what we what intrigues us, but maybe There's something, something that, you wanna, yeah, want to know and you just maybe want us to be do a little digging on. Yeah. So right. just let it know. Let's build something, a little nice little community and, you know, we yeah. don't buy it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Other than that, that's it for episode 12, Intellects. We're out. Peace. Thank you, guys. Thank on you, guys. to the next. Let's go.